What's going on, golf addicts? Welcome to Tour Junkies After Dark. You only get one Tour Junkie this week. Pat's out. DB here. We're talking the BMW Championship 2022. It's the second event of the PGA Tour playoffs. The season coming to an end. Only about 68 players in the field. No cut this week, so they're all guaranteed four rounds unless they withdraw for some reason. We're at a brand new golf course, Wilmington Country Club in Wilmington, Delaware. They've never hosted a professional golf tournament. It's a par 71, around 7,500 yards. Personally, I'll spare you a lot of the details, but I think this is a bomber's paradise. I think long hitters, good long iron players, great bent grass putters. These are huge greens, so we're going to get a lot of greens in regulation. Not going to have to really scramble all that much at this golf tournament. Three, Avoid the three putts, and let's rock and roll. I think the winning score is going to be somewhere between that 15 and 17 under range. I think that's how the golf course is, or the tournament is going to set it up. Um but, you know, the second event of the playoff usually tends to give us a shorter winner. It's the best players in the world or over the last year, more than likely, because they've earned enough FedEx Cup points to be here. And they're guaranteed four rounds. So you're not going to have some fluke missed cuts. You're not going to have all that. Now, that being said, of course, I'm here to give you a couple of long shots. So I'm going to talk outrights. I'm going to talk top 20s. And let's get started at the top of the betting board on DraftKings. I'm going to give you one name up top, and it's Tony Finau. Now, are there other names up here that I kind of like? Yeah, I kind of think Willie Z. I think Will Zaltors continues to get it rolling. But if I had to pick one, I think it's I think it's Tony Finau. Tony Finau is coming off two wins, a top five last week. He continues to do his thing. This golf course suits him better than the one last week at TPC Southwind. I think we continue to hammer Tony Finau. I think at 14-1, to 1, let's hit it on DraftKings, okay? Then I'm going to start getting into the mid-range here, and I'm going to go to Cam Young, the stud, at 25-1. to 1. His odds have shortened. He opened it, I think, 30-1. to 1. His odds have shortened this Monday afternoon, or now it's late Monday, but this, this afternoon he was 40-1. to 1. Cam Young is a stud, okay? He's destined to win on tour. He's just like Willie Z. He's had so many close calls, so many runner-ups, but this is his rookie year. Okay, Will Z's in year two, and he finally closed the door. I think Cam Young's going to get it done before that. He's a Northeastern boy, grew up at Sleepy Hollow in New York, very comfortable on bent grass greens, not so comfortable on grainy Bermuda greens, which we saw last week at TPC Southwind, where he lost five and a half strokes putting. That's terrible, okay? He still hit the ball like a stud that he is, but he lost five and a half strokes putting. I think that bounces back and changes this week on the bent grass surfaces. 25 to 1, I think you hit it. If it gets any shorter, I'll probably go ahead and stay away. But I like Cam Young at 25 to 1. I love Joaquin Neiman at 40 to 1. Joaquin Neiman's ball striking has been solid his whole career. It's been great this whole year. He hits it long, he hits it straight. His irons are incredible. His irons and driver were great last week. What suffered was his short game. Well, Normally, his short game is fantastic. Overall, over his PGA Tour career, he's been a very underrated scrambler of the golf ball. But last week, he lost strokes around the greens, and I think a lot of it had to do with chipping off the grainy Bermuda at TPC Southwind. It's tough to chip off of. I, I play, My home course is grainy Bermuda. I grew up playing on grainy Bermuda. It's hard. Okay, Bent grass surfaces and fescue surfaces are a lot easier. That's why he's going to get this, this week. And plus, I think he's going to hit so many greens. These greens are massive. It's not going to matter. So 40 to 1 Joaquin Neiman, I love it. His number is also shortened today so far. He opened at 45 to 1. He's now 40 to 1. He won the Genesis Invitational earlier in the year. He's a killer. Bet him. At 60 to 1, I'm going with Aaron Wise. Now, Aaron Wise hasn't won a golf tournament since, like, I don't know, gas was under $2 a gallon. But the guy's ball striking has been incredible. A lot like Joaquin Neiman, he's a really underrated short game player who suffered last week on those Bermuda Greens. I think he bounces back. He's at 60 to 1. I like Aaron Wise. Another one at 65 to 1 is Cam Davis. Now, Cam Davis played great last week. I think he finished 13th at TPC Southwind. He prefers bent grass greens. Now he's getting bent grass. He's off the grainy Bermuda. But last week, TPC Southwind really bridled Cam Davis off the tee. He's a long hitter, he likes the rip driver. He can take advantage of that distance. TPC Southwind did not let him do that fully. I think Wilmington Country Club will. Now, again, first time we've ever seen Wilmington Country Club. It may not. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. I think he's going to hit a lot of drivers, and I think that's a good thing for Cam Davis. 65 to 1 outright. I like it. Finally, I'm going to give you a guy who hasn't won yet on the PGA Tour. Okay? But he was a D1 college stud. 
He lost in a playoff earlier this year to Sam Burns. He's had plenty of close calls. He's been in it late on Sunday. And I think if he has the opportunity again, he can actually close the door. And it's Davis Riley at 70 to 1. Davis Riley, the, the swing is incredible. The off the tee play has been incredible. He just needs a little bit of that to translate to the irons, and we're in. Okay. But this guy has high, high upside. So Davis Riley at 71, I'll take it. Those are my outright picks. Now let's talk some top 20s I like. Of course, I like to pick bombs for top twenties. I'm not going to give you a, a, I'm not going to give you, you know, I'm not going to give you a minus one twenty top twenty. Like that would be so stupid, right? You can figure that out. You can have nev- never bet on golf before and figure that out. Okay, I'm here to give you the plus money numbers, the plus money guys at at top twenty bets. This is a sixty eight man field. They just got to finish in the top third of this field, and you're cashing. Okay. The first one is Aaron Wise. I've already talked about him. Plus 160. He's 32nd in the FedEx Cup standings. He's got to get to 30th to play Eastlake next week, which is a big deal. You play Eastlake, you're guaranteed in like three out of the four majors. You get in all the invitationals the next year. It's a big deal. And you can make a lot of money. Okay? He's 32nd. He's gonna th- This golf tournament is going to have his full attention for all four rounds. Aaron Wise, plus 160. Uh, Cam Davis, talked about him. He's plus 175. I didn't talk about this guy, but Taylor Pendrith, bomb hitting. Taylor Pendrith at plus 220. Been playing really well lately, okay? This is his first like playoff experience, but he's been playing really well. Plus 220, I like it. A guy who I haven't mentioned, plus 275, Emiliano Grillo. Great ball striker, has two runner-ups in his last three, four events, okay? And notoriously awful putter. Has gained strokes. He's gained 11 strokes putting in his last four events. 11. And he's a notoriously horrible putter. That's that's really good for Emiliano Grillo. Plus 275, I'll take it. And then a couple bombs. I'll go with the long-hitting, aggressive Kurt Kitayama at 4-1 to one on DraftKings for a top 20. He's very boomer bust. That's what we're getting with Kirk Kitayama. But this golf course fits him better than last week did. I like it. And then finally, Seb Straka. DraftKings is giving you the guy that almost won the golf tournament. Literally a stroke away from winning the golf tournament last week over Will Zalatoris. DraftKings is giving you that guy at four to one at a course that is more open off the tee, I think, that will that will be a better advantage to him and his distance and his length off the tee. Now, he missed six cuts or something previous to that runner-up finish that he had. But Dad Gumps, I mean, Seth Strzok, you give me the guy that almost won at 4-1, to one, uh, top 20, in a, now in a 68-man field tournament. I think that's pretty good value. So I think we hit Seth Strzok at 4-1. to one. That's it. That's Tour Junkies After Dark. Hope you guys have a great week. Uh, the playoffs are fantastic. It's fun to watch. This is a great tournament. You know, let's make DraftKings pay for hanging some of these numbers, okay? Give the video a like. Subscribe to the DraftKings YouTube channel if you haven't already. And drop a comment who you like. Who's your favorite long shot top 20? Put that in the comments. Tell me what you think. Let's have a week. See ya!